Hey there, XR here once again back playing Alea Yachta Est, uh, continuing our game from last time. We are still playing the Marius vs. Sulla campaign. Uh, we are on turn something. It's July, so that would be turn 6 uh, of the first year. Uh, I believe it goes till 81 uh, BC. It is now 87 BC, and it's um, one turn it is about a month. So, if you'll recall, uh, here is Sulla, our main uh, general. Uh, with the, the largest army under our command here, uh, he is trying to chase down this guy over here, who is a main, uh, the main Pontic force currently in Greece. Because right now our goal is to uh, reconquer Greece and Macedonia, and uh, and then head back over to Italy to try to to take more of it away from the Populares, which are the other faction of Romans uh, led by Marius, who are currently uh, trying to mess us up. Uh, we've got this force here, who just finished retaking Nola, which had rebelled. Uh, he's going to move over to Neapolis here, which is a higher level fort, so it's a little more defensible, and also is um, uh, a gold objective city instead of silver, so it's worth more points, uh, more victory points at the end of every turn. Uh, they have us besieged in Rome currently, um, with a relatively small army, but we don't have much there. There's just four units of basically... Uh, urban militia, and we've got a legion that we had started recruiting there, but it's still building up. We've got another uh, three legions up here that are locked in place uh, with their commander in Ancona, and then we've got that legion we started recruiting here, which should be ready next turn, I think, and that will be able to move, although it'll only be able to move by itself, so I don't really think we're going to send it anywhere. It, it was just more to reinforce the three legions that were already there and make it harder for them to take Ancona. Um... <clears throat> That's right, and we had also, this guy right here, they've got, the Pontus has got another, well, I'm not sure where he went, they had another really big army over here that it just took Byzantium away from us, and they're probably going to try to come this way, um, but they have this army right here, which is just one dot, trying to, uh, to besiege him. Amphipolis, yeah, Amphipolis. Um, so we have this army here, or this one, right? Is that it? No, this one right here, which is a really small army. It's just a commander, two units of auxiliaries, and a, um, a cavalry unit. But uh, this guy here only has one unit of hoplites. So I figured we might as well send him over there and see if he can uh, can chase him off and keep Amphipolis under our command for a little while longer. And then the other thing we've got going on down here is um, Lucullus is continuing his odyssey to visit all these ports uh, and try to gain support for Sulla's faction. Um, we've already visited Crete and they did not give us... Here's our, our fleet here. They did not give us any support, but we did pick up two Cretan archers that we had recruited there, um, which are, are very good ranged units. And yeah, I think we're actually ready to end this turn. So everybody's moved that's going to move. So let's do it and see what happens. Building up the master files. Calculating everything that's going on behind the scenes. We're going to have to come down, hopefully once we reduce this um, this army right here to, you know, a non-threat, we can come down and take Athens and Argos. We need to move through all these territories to actually establish control of them, even if they don't have a city in them. But we can just do a quick... They're assaulting Rome. Uh, we were defeated. It's not terribly surprising. Although we did have 10,000 men uh, in the city. They had 25,000 men and 4,000 horses. Um, yeah, they beat us pretty soundly. They still haven't taken the city, though. Oh, they're attacking again. And we lost again. There we go. Yep, they took the city from us. Okay, but here's that guy we were chasing. Uh, we beat him. We beat him pretty badly. Uh, we had 40,000 men. We lost 4,000. He had uh, 38,000. So the, the numbers of men, the um, armies are almost equal. Um, he lost 7,000. He lost some whole units, though, some militia and some infantry. We didn't lose any whole units. We lost individual hits from units, but we didn't lose any whole units. So we'll have to see where that leaves him at the end. Stalemate here in Neapolis, which was these guys here attacking us, I guess. Oh. 
And here we were defeated at Neapolis by that other army that came down. Still haven't taken that city, though. We're at a real disadvantage in Italy until we can get Sulla back there. <coughs> Excuse me, because they've got all their armies over here. And we have to deal with this whole situation over in Greece before we can worry about what's going on back here more than just trying to slow them down as much as possible. They don't really have any armies over here, um, the Populares, that can really stand up to our main army. It's just a matter of time management, basically, for us. We have to... We lost a whole lot of victory points from there. We were at 87 uh, last turn, and now we're about in 59 um, because we because we lost control of Rome is the main thing. And we'll get it back. Don't worry about it. We'll get it back. Um, let's see, major events. We've lost a battle at Rome, lost a battle at Rome, won a battle at Pontus, against Pontus. Uh, Neapolis was a draw, lost a battle there. Merchant ship sunk, capital moved to Rome, capital moved to Dyrrachium. That's just our, their capital moving to Rome, and our capital is now Dyrrachium because we were kicked out of Rome. And fall of Rome. Okay, um, you have not reached Salinas yet? I guess I didn't tell him to go inside. That's the one thing about this game that's kind of finicky, is um, doesn't always seem to really uh, respond correctly when you tell it to put people in a city. Sometimes it just moves them to the province, and I'm sure that maybe it's my, like, I'm not paying close enough attention, but um, I'd like for it to not require me to pay that close attention to figure out that I want them to go into the city and not just into the surrounding area. So what happened here? He retreated. He's back in this other province. So I'm going to put them into the city and switch them to defensive. Okay, we beat up this guy. He's still all green dots though, so he's still in decent shape, but we captured um, Chalcis here. How are our guys doing? We're still good. See this supply thing here is starting to turn red, so we are using our stored supplies, but we have access to supplies still. Um, as long as we're connected by green, we'll be able to get supplies, so that's okay. Um, but we're going to have to keep chasing this guy. He's in Athens now, which is a huge city. He's a size 11. He's only a level 1 fourth, though. Um, so let us c continue with that pursuit. And he's got the symbol here again, which means he's pursuing an enemy. So he's chasing after this guy, and we'll follow him if he tries to move. No sign uh, of that big army over here. This is actually, this things are going down a little bit differently than they did the first time I played this scenario, which is cool. Uh, the first time I played this scenario, uh, they had, the Pontix had a big army that came across here and that I had to fight off after I fought this guy off. Um, but the Rome, the guys over in Rome were much less aggressive. So it's kind of interesting how that happens. My um, army that we recruited, the legion we recruited here in Ancona is ready. It's not, it doesn't have full cohesion yet, but it's at full strength. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to leave it there for now, just because I don't want to... Uh, sending it off by itself isn't really going to accomplish much. Um, but it being there will make it harder for the Popularis to take that city. Am I... Brindisium is a level 2 fort. Do we have... We do have some more Italian legions to... to build. Um... Let's uh, start two more legions building here in Brindisium. Combine them into the same tab. And uh, don't know if they'll get done before things hit the fan that used up all, almost all our money, but um, don't know if that'll things will get if they'll get done in time to make a difference. But uh, if they do, they'll also help keep us hold the popularities off for the time being. Now let's take a look at F4, which is our political decisions, because we're out of money, but we may have prisoners we can sell now, since we've won some battles against Pontus. Yep, we do. So this is, uh, you need at least 2,500 prisoners, and you gain 200 denarii. So if you look over here in the uh, F7, which is the victories tab, you can see how many prisoners we've taken. We've taken 5,500 prisoners, so we could actually sell prisoners two turns in a row, I think, because you need 2,500, and it gives you 200 money. Looking at our VP total, we're not doing too well. We've only got 57. The popularities are beating us by a lot right now. But um, 
so is Pontus, but Pontus starts with a lot more than us. So we'll uh, we'll have to go back and, and kick the crap out of them soon. Oh, I need to actually do that. So we're going to go back here, sell the prisoners. The little eagle goes on there, meaning that will happen at the end of this turn. Um, ooh, our morale is really low, too, from losing all those battles. We might need to do one of these um, propaganda campaigns or something. Costs, well, we can't afford them, can we? All of them cost money, right? Yes, money we don't have. Yeah, we can't do them any right now. All right, I'm going to end the turn, and um, with that money we get, if our morale doesn't go up, uh, you know, a decent amount from the uh, from this turn, then uh, I'll probably try to do one of those uh, propaganda campaigns or, or games or something to raise our national morale. Because if our national morale gets too low, <laughs> we'll lose the the game without actually, you know, losing many battles. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. Going into September of 87 BC. Okay, we won at Amphibolis. Uh, that was uh, that unit coming back to attack us, I think. Aha! See, this and this did happen to me the last time I played. This is that guy that I showed you at the very beginning of the game, way over in Cyrene in Africa. He was locked in place um, because he... He was, but he's now been attacked, which means he'll be unlocked and will be able to move his army around. This is one of the popularities guys uh, attacked us and lost. I don't know why he attacked us. He had, you know, we had twenty-five thousand men. We had forty, forty-three thousand almost. Um, we kicked his butt. No, nobody lost any full units, but um, yeah, we won the battle. <laughs> That's a great victory. This was uh, Sulla here, fighting that army in Athens, Battle of Athene. Uh, they must have been including the uh, Athens garrison, is the word I'm looking for here, because they had set almost 80,000 men, 78,000 men. We had only 40,000. We kicked the crap out of them. Look at this. We didn't lose any full units. Look at all these. They lost 29 units of Hellenistic heavy infantry. Holy crap. Sulla's a great general. 656. Oh, yeah. One of, his, uh, one of his scores actually went up. He was gaining experience. Uh, yeah, so that's awesome. We crushed them. Now we're crushing them again. They lost another 15,000 men. Another 16 <laughs> units of Hellenistic heavy infantry. Well, these, you know, these are the, the subunits, like the, the uh, cohorts. Yeah, we're wiping them out. Ooh, and this time we lost. How did this happen? Maybe our guys were just tired. And we still lost way less men than them. Way less. So I'm not sure why they considered that a defeat. We're fighting something else. Oh, that was us taking the city. Not sure why that one turned into a defeat. It must have just been random die rolls, like our guy's morale broke or something. And I think we can go back in and look at the report in more detail and try to figure it out. Um, let's see. One battles, one battles. Our national morale is back up to 74. We're up to. We went from 59 to 232 victory points in one turn. So yeah, that was a pretty good turn for us. Those um those crushing defeats we or crushing victories we won against this guy really really made a big difference. Fall of Athens. Now occupied by the troops of Sulla. Yep. Oh, Aristion is killed. The tyrant of Athens, executed by the Romans. That was one of the things. Suicide of a high priest. These are all like the historical events that are happening that, you know, stuff that really happened when these events were going on in the real world and they've worked into the game. They don't really have any effect on um, on the gameplay. They're just there for, for flavor. Uh, High Priest of Jupiter committed suicide after false charges were made against him by political enemies. 
uh, marries his nephew, a young petition named Julius Caesar, as a candidate to fill it, and that does, of course, happen. Lucullus <coughs> attempts to get ships in Pamphyla. They agree to lend their squadrons to the mighty Roman Republic. Hooray! Now I need to send him to Cyprus, which is right here. So, where's our fleet? Now, they should, I don't know why they do this. They've moved him away from his boat. But these are the boats that they've given us. Two of these, these things. So now you are going to Salamis, right? Go. Go to Salamis. Where are you going? Okay, maybe. I, don't, I can't tell if he's actually going there or not. Should be. Okay. Um, yeah, deselect him. You do not control Rome, I know, and that's bad. Executions of Galatian chiefs. In the wake of the defeats the Romans have afflicted upon him, Mithridates fears that some of his superior allies could be turned against him. He is the most suspicious of the Galate, Galates, Gallic warriors who have been settled in Asia for a long time. The decision is made to eliminate the chiefs of these tribes by violence or guile. Huh. I, that didn't happen last time I played this scenario either. It must be because we just crushed this army so bad. Um, let's take a look at our army. Our sh things are yellow. Uh, we're not lo we haven't lost that many guys. You can see some of the little cohort things over here are red, so we do have some losses. And we're in friendly supply territory, right? Yeah, we are, so we should replace them if we uh, go defensive for a turn, which I think we'll do. Um, try to replace some of our missing units and recover our cohesion as well, because we've been fighting pretty hard the last couple of months. We, we captured Athens. And we are should be inside it now. Yeah, there we go. Move our supply train in there. Oh, these are extra supply trains. Okay. Into there as well. And uh, combine them with his army. Give them some more supply. Our, our general supply filled back up anyway. Um, this guy has got to be... I mean, his dots are green, but he can't be in that good shape after all that that we just put him through. Um, do we control Argos? Is that an ally of ours? No. So we're going to have to still come down here and take Argos and then do a quick circle around here just to capture all these territories um, before we start heading back uh, up and over toward Italy. This guy's still hanging out around Amph Amphipolis. Go attack him. If we can make him run away. Uh, yeah, so Mary, uh, Saul is going to chill in Athens for a turn and recover. Uh, let me look back here and see if we can figure out why we lost this battle. I don't guarantee that I'll be able to... Ooh, Saul is up to 677. His stats just keep going up. Now, they outnumbered us, but they outnumbered us by much more in the previous battles that we won. Um... We had 33,000 men, just about. He had 40,000. But we only lost 3,000 men, and he lost 11,000. We only lost two full cohorts, and he lost all these. So why was that a defeat for us? Where's that detailed report? It is. Six round battle. It was a long battle. I don't really know how to read this stuff enough to really figure out what happened there, unfortunately. But I mean, we came out on, on top in the end. We've probably got tons more prisoners to sell. No? Maybe you can't do that two turns in a row. I may do one of these um, propaganda things anyway. 300 denarii, you don't, can't afford that one. 100 denarii. Only gives us two national morale, but plus two loyalty in main areas. What about games? Jet just gives you two national morale without the loyalty. Yeah, we'll do the propaganda campaign. 
bump our morale up. Oh, wait, this is our money. Duh. I was looking at victory points. So we can't afford this one. Yeah, let's do that. And we didn't have any real battles in Italy. Or did we? I think did they attack us somewhere over here this turn? I don't even remember. Nothing changed hands though. So I think we're okay in Italy for the time being. Um, so I guess we're ready to end turn again. Oh, that guy over in Africa. This guy right here. Is now unlocked. He's not activated though. He's got all these phalanxes, equites, star cavalry, auxiliaries. Is he a decent commander? Hiemsal. He is 2-2-2. Two, two, two. No, he's a terrible commander. There's this guy. This is uh, Populares, Numidia Rebellio, Numidian Rebels. We outnumber him. I'm just going to stay put in the city for now because uh, I'm not activated. But we'll try to uh, drive him off next turn and maybe take some of these surrounding cities. This is uh, Objective City, Hippo Regius. So if we can take that from him, that may improve our situation uh, even some more. Who's this guy? They're a new king of... I don't remember him looking like his face being that way before. Oh well, okay. Uh, let's center us back on Greece where the main action will be, I think, if there is any. And we'll uh, advance the turn yet again. Going much quicker now that I'm not pausing to explain a hundred things every two seconds. I hope that Pontic uh, guy that we beat up last turn doesn't run too far away, because I really would like to finish him off, but I think it's smart to uh, give Sulla's army a turn to rest and recover. You know, maybe he's not going to go anywhere. Yep, no battles at all that month. October coming into merchant ship sunk. I need to do something about them. I always forget about the merchant ships. Okay, here we are in Cyprus. Um, they agree to lend their squadrons. Nice. So now we need to go to Sidon of Phoenicia, which is over here. So what did we get? That is our fleet. They split Lucullus off again. Oh, we got a hero. Triarchios Kalamakos. Commander rating 500. That sucks. Uh, but two more ships. Get... Um, where is Lucullus? There he is. I don't know why they keep splitting him off like that. Our fleet is growing larger. Head to Sidon. <coughs> All right, let's take a look at Scylla. He is back, back to full strength across the board. So once again, we will send him after uh, Mr. Pontus there, who unwisely did not flee. Still, uh, Pontus is still not pushing. Oh, there's their big army again over here at Nicomedia. That is a large army. If that comes this way, we're going to have a fight on our hands. How's, um, how's this guy doing? Is he active? He is. Um, I think I'm going to try to attack this guy again with him, now that he's active. Anything super interesting going on in Rome? No, we have a unit of supplies there for some reason. All their armies went away. Where did all the Populares armies go? They must be sitting inside cities. I don't know why they're doing that, but whatever. See, it's my purpose. We've got these two legions building here in Brindisium that are in the process of building up now. So, it suits me if they are content to uh, 
he's still not active. Uh, I would have him chase them down, but he's not active. Uh, but yeah, it suits my purpose to have them uh, sit quietly for now. Okay, not much going on this turn. Um, so let's advance it again. Hopefully we will fight and beat down this guy once again. It's really hard to completely destroy an army, but if I can reduce him to essential, you know, essentially being completely ineffective, that'll be good enough. He's still got three dots worth of men with him. So let's see what happens here. There we go, we caught him. Victory! He had 25,000 men, we killed 7,000, 6,500, he killed 2,000 of ours, but we didn't lose any units, any subunits, and he retreated down to Argos, which is good for us because we were going to go down there anyway, so we can chase him here and have him pinned on this peninsula, take Argos back before we start uh, heading back up north. Our... Uh, National, national morale is back up to 85, which is good. Uh, won a battle against Pontus, poor sanitation, and Lucullus is in Phoenicia. Two new squadrons of ships are ready to join the navy. Awesome. So, so far everybody's agreed, and we got another commander too. There we go. Pretty impressive we are building up. Where are we going next? I missed that part. That was Phoenicia, Cyrenica, and Alexandria. Where's Cyrenica? Well, there's Alexandria. What was the other one? Cyrene of Cyrenica. Didn't we go there already? Or... Oh no, that's way over where my where my guy was, right? It's way over here. Yeah, Cyrene's way over there. Okay, so we are going to go to Alexandria next. Fleet. Alexandria bound. No, what? Not enough transport capacity. Cannot reach destination from here? What the hell's going on here? Do I have someone in my stack I shouldn't have? Got my two archers, but I was able to transport them before. Huh. I am not sure what's going on here. Let me try, uh... Leaving these guys behind, or I guess uh, this is this is the new guy I picked up. See the problem? Was this other boat the problem? Why is it saying I cannot reach that destination from here? Well, uh, I don't know. I'll have to figure this out next time. So I am just about out of time. We got more ships. We're trying to go to Alexandria. Sulla continues his reign of victories here. We will go down and take Argos next time. And then we'll be ready to start heading up north. We're going to have to grab all these individual territories, but Greece is basically back under our control. Um, ooh. They're uh, besieging Amphipolis. With the, they brought a bigger army, army over. Still only two dots. Their big one must yeah, is still sitting over here, but uh, that's going to be a little bit of an issue. Still no action in Italy though, so it should be pretty good. All right, so yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be for next time. So uh, stay tuned.